Hello everyone, and welcome to this Man on Talk Show exclusive, right here on campus at Northampton Community College, where Chelsea Clinton is on hand campaigning for Senator Hillary Clinton. Spontaneous applause is always welcome. Um, I'm looking forward to having a conversation with you all today about what you're thinking about in terms of what's important to you as you think about whom to vote for in the primary on April 22nd. I certainly hope that you all will vote. I hope that you all have been registered through all the drives that you've had here on your campus. Uh, and for those of you who have already decided to support my mom, you see some signs in the back. Thank you. Um, I hope that you all ask questions too so that I can help each of you become the best advocate that you can be for my mom as you reach out to your friends, your classmates, your families, your colleagues. And I'm happy to talk about anything that might be on your mind today. Uh, if we don't get to your question, I feel like the microphone just got louder. Um, if we don't get to your question, I'm sorry, um, but I hope that you will continue to reach out for information, uh, to go online to HillaryClinton.com, to go to all the candidates' websites so that you can make your own assessments about whom you believe will really deliver the progress that you want to see in our country. Uh, there also have now been 20 debates among the Democrats and only a few fewer than that among the Republicans. So you can go online to watch clips of the debates and see the candidates themselves talk about the issues. But there also will be another debate right here in Pennsylvania on April 16th. So I hope that maybe your political science club can organize a debate watch party and you all can watch and discuss the debate together. Um, but I'm here to try to help articulate why I passionately believe in my mom as a young woman as a young voter, although I'm probably a bit older than many of you in this room, 28. Um, no? All right, well, thank you. Um, thanks for making me feel 28 years young. And, and also why I actually believe in my mom, because she's my mom. And I'm happy to talk about anything. Uh, so if you have any questions, I hope you'll ask them. And yes, you can start because you raised your hand. No. <laughs> um, I, um, I'll repeat the questions, and I may not be able to hear them if you're asking them from the back, but hopefully you'll either shout, or you can play a game of telephone, and you can tell someone, and you can tell someone if you get to me. Um, this question, I think, you know, is, is a valid one, because, you know, he listens to the candidates, and people talk about a lot of different things, and he wants to know how, in his first election, how can he really trust them? are really going to deliver on what they're saying. And I think that's a fair question. I think you know, it's why it's so important that you get educated about the issues that are important to you and about where people not only stand, but what they've done to deliver on those issues. And it's one of the things that I'm most proud about my mom for is that what she is passionately committed to, she has been passionately committed to the longer than I've been alive. So if you look at healthcare, for instance, I'm proud that as Democrats, we now talk about a significant expansion in health care as being a core tenet of what we hope to see in our country. Um, but I'm really proud that my mom stuck for universal health care in 93 and 94 was popular. And that when universal health care didn't work out in 93 and 94, she still kept working to expand health care. Out of that came the Children's Health Insurance Program. That insures more than 6 million kids in America today, and more than 140,000 right here in Pennsylvania. So, <laughs> universal health care isn't a rhetorical device for my mom. It's something that she is passionately committed to, it's something she's been fighting for for a very long time. And I think you see her record of still expanding health care even when her initial ambition didn't work out is really the proof of the pudding as it is. So I hope that on the issues that you care about, you'll look at my mom and the candidates and see not only what they are laying out as a vision for the future, but what they've done to already prove that they are really committed to those issues. And I think on any issue that is important to me, certainly as a young voter, my mother is the stronger, the more progressive, and the more prepared candidate. Thank you.